Welcome back to Out Loud uh, right here on Fox Soul. I want to talk about more about Destiny's Child uh, in Survivor. Ty, you styled that. So can you talk about that look and how that all came about? That was my first job. <laughs> and so I was like learning that whole experience and just, you know, Miss Tina, for her to just take a chance for a country boy in Texas and give him that opportunity, it was so much fun. Um, and back then it was hard, we weren't allowed to pull really, nobody would let us pull. So that's why you saw a lot of creation stuff coming, being custom because showrooms weren't allowing us to pull until like the song hit hit and it became easier. But um, it was it was fun, I learned a lot. Uh, it was a fun video. We, we shot it, I believe, in Malibu, and it was just an experience that really helped me to become who I am today. So they weren't like, letting you pull for, no, for Destiny's no. Child? No. Mm -mm. no I would think hard. it would be big enough for that. You know what I mean? I would. That seems <laughs> it was, like it, was, it, it took it took a it took a minute. Like when Independent Women drop, Woman drop, that's when things started getting better. Yeah. These, they need to get, like, now reality stars can pull. Yeah, but back then, it was, it was hard for the Black girls. So <laughs> you think it was a lot easier for white celebrities, even on the same level? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I would go to showrooms, and it would be, like, racks with names on them. I'm like, oh, wow. But, yeah, it was hard in the beginning. I bet you they regret it now. Oh, yeah. A yeah. lot of them, you know, it was, like, chance, like, it was times when like designers would be like, why are you not pulling from me? But it'd be like the showroom people. And I, I never threw anybody under the bus, but when they realized I didn't do that, it made it much more easier for me to go in and just do whatever I wanted at that point, because I believe in divine to take care of you. I don't have to fight that battle. Mm -hmm. You being real nice right now. If we was on Instagram, you'd be shady. Nah, <laughs> but I'm still nice, <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. now, now, Kim, you worked on the same shoot with Ty back then. So what was that experience for like, like for you? Uh, I didn't actually, I worked with her on Carmen Jones. I didn't actually work on the Survivor video. Oh, you went on Survivor. Oh, no, I wasn't. Yeah, they, I did, my first video was with her, but I was working with her on the movie, Carmen Jones. Oh, got it, got my it. first video with her was Work It Out when she, when she was going solo more so. Yeah, Austin Powers. Yeah, and Austin Powers. That's when I became more on a regular basis working with her. And she was just about to launch her single, you know. So I, yeah, I didn't get to work on Survivor, but I do remember Miss Tina, she was working, she was actually doing her hair then at the time. Yeah, me and Miss Tina had to do hair back then. That's why I was saying I was so happy because when I came in, I had to do hair and dress them. <laughs> so I was hearing wardrobe rags and Marcel's and all the yes. stuff. And, and do you stuff. even do hair tie or were you just like getting in where you had I, to? I, I, I do hair, but my family made me hate doing hair. So I just got away from that altogether because I end up having to do everybody's hair and I cut hair like so my guy friends would come over and be like can you cut my hair and then I was doing my mom's hair my aunt like everybody would just I was I, I just don't like doing hair but I got the gig with that Destiny's Child and I was like oh I do hair so I was doing hair crimps helping exactly. Kelly out. but when Kim came I was like jackpot thank you lord you know and Kim, <laughs> Kim is so talented you know yeah so now, Kim, you've, you've slayed Queen Bee's hair for several years. So how was it experimenting and creating those classic looks on Beyonce? Is she really open or is she like, does she micromanage or does she let you just do whatever? Does she have an idea what she wants? How does that work? Yeah, sometimes it's a collaboration. I mean, sometimes I come with all kinds of like boards and ideas because I'm, you know, I'm up thinking about it at night, <laughs> you know, and then she may have an idea of what she wants. It's sort of like a collaboration. We'll, we'll sometimes we'll just be playing, you know, but I, I definitely come in with ideas first because I don't want to ever show up and not have a plan um, for a job. And, you know, it was really fun working with her because she kind of morphed into whatever you did. You know, very few, there's a few people that I feel like I've worked with that I could see no matter what you put on them, it looks good. Like when I did Dream Girls with her, we went from short to long to dark to this to that to braid, all kind of crazy stuff we did. And it all worked, you know. And I love, I love that work, that about her. And she was always very risky. She would take risk and. You know, she would try stuff. It was it was a, definitely a fun experience working with her and just kind of, you know, I, I listen, I was blessed 
to have her as a client because like like her I, I couldn't get magazine covers they wouldn't book me on magazines and when I started working with her I think after I did my first L shoot with Beyonce then the floodgates start opening up then I was able to start getting more opportunities so it's been such a great that's why I said I wouldn't change anything because it's been such a great opportunity and experience did you do the crazy in love video yes yeah. Uh, okay. I thought that was you. When I first saw that video, to me, that's when I thought she took it to the next level with her. Like everything was just like banging. It yeah. was perfect. Yeah. The hair, the how it was flowing, the color, everything yeah. was on fire. Now to the, the Beyonce fans, I'm not saying anything before that was not good. I'm just saying that's when I, I just remember when that came out, it was just like, whoa. Yeah, it was like a whole new project. It was her solo career. She was open for new looks and new ideas and doing things differently. And it was just great to watch the process. I mean, working with Jake Nava and working with Ty and Tina and, and the makeup artists. I believe at that time, was it Francesca? Yeah, Francesca did the makeup. And it was just such a fresh new beginning. And to just watch that project, because we, we, we didn't know that we were about to embark on greatness like that. We knew something was happening, but we didn't know how that exploded. I think after Crazy in Love and that whole thing, uh, I can say that I probably worked for six years straight with her. Six years straight. I don't remember, you know, all I remember just working, 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 because that just took off so great. And I, I started getting booked and requests for a lot of jobs and opportunities because of that project. I think that really, I will say, really helped boost my career. And that's the one beautiful thing about Beyonce, like even, you know, with that Vogue cover, she, you know, she, she, her rise helped other people as well get opportunities. And cause she does believe in, in fighting for, you know, I remember there's many times she had to fight for me to be able to work with her, you know, on projects. And because she does that, that has really helped me in my career. Tie everybody has given them their first opportunity and helped them grow into these these expert type of uh, people. So I just think that I just want to get to give her a big kudos for when she opened her doors. It also opened up doors for other people to expand and grow. And then she keeps, of course, she never stops. Lemonade first visual album. Come on, you know what? To, to be a part of those things are like so iconic and that's the one thing that's been blessed about she a lot of my most iconic things that i've done have been with her and uh that's been you know great and she's one of the rare people who have never had a miss i i don't see her on that list where there's like a fashion miss or hair miss or makeup miss like she just doesn't have those days i on the other hand have them every other day but she has she just never has them she always looks great <laughs> now kennedy from beginning to end can, can you tell us about your experience shooting with beyonce and were you a big fan of beyonce before you got this opportunity and i was a huge fan i've been listening since i was a kid my first um I think the first album that I had as a kid was the Destiny's Child cover. I don't, I'm blanking on the title, but it was the one that was like kind of shadowy and it had their three heads kind of like that. I don't know if you remember it. Yeah, so I've just always been an avid listener and a fan. So I was really excited when I got it. Um, so were you nervous though? Because like, that seems really big, you know, like when you grow up seeing someone or you see someone you're younger, that person just seems so unattainable that you'll ever be around them. And then here you are as a young black woman that's, you know, shooting the cover of Vogue that's never been done, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but, I was, it, it was very nerve wracking. I remember probably, it may have been like three years ago, she had came to Raleigh for like, um, I think it was, it was one of the tours. It might be the limited one, don't quote me. But she had performed Freedom in the Rain and I was there for that. So I didn't think it was gonna, like three years later, something would have came about in this way. It was also my first cover, so. Was she easy lot. to shoot? Was she easy to shoot? Was she? She was really easy to shoot. She, and I would all, I always say this, but she's just one of those people that would like submit themselves to a vision. If you had an idea and you gave it to her, she'd be like, okay, let's do it. So I was just 
really appreciative and it's really like um Kim said it kind of opened up the floodgates for stuff to come because before this I was struggling so I'm really appreciative but it was yeah it was it was really nice I love to hear that I love it okay we're going to take our last break and we'll be back with more out loud of Fox All.